Guess who's come down from the hills? Those anti V lookup people. Those index match people. They've come down out of the hills and they are right now littering the countryside with copies of their manifesto. In this video, I'm going to talk about V lookup versus index match, the similarities and differences, and why these insurgents get all sour faced anytime V lookup is talked about. I'm clearly a VLOOKUP user and the thing that I want to stress to you today, two things. One, we are only talking about tools. Two, context is decisive. Let's check this out. We've got this list of names and we need to bring over the states from the master list. So we need to get Kansas brought over by Lars. So let's do the VLOOKUP first. Equals V lookup. Look up what? Joanne. Comma. Look up where? I'm going to highlight this entire table. Comma. We want the state that's in the third column. So I'm going to put three, comma, and then false because we want exact match. There we go. We've got what we needed. Here is the index match method equals index. Now we got to slow down and think about this because we are about to nest one function inside of another one. The index array that I'm interested in is these states, comma, match, open parentheses, look up what, look up Joanne, comma, look up array, where do we want to find Joanne? in this column, comma, and we want an exact match, zero. Now close both functions, two parentheses, boom, boom, enter. Got it. Now here is what gets these insurgents all sour faced. I want to move the state column after the ID column. Here we go. Notice that the VLOOKUP method it's now giving us a crazy result. The index match method is still accurate. So one thing that we can do is go back to the VLOOKUP, change this three to four, and we're back to what we needed. Was that a reason to ditch VLOOKUP and become an index match convert? If you don't want to fiddle with the syntax of that nested formula in index match and you are okay with just changing that 3 to a 4 in the VLOOKUP, use the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, index match, I don't care. You use what works for you and keeps your data accurate. Let's look at something else. We want to get the age based on the employee ID. VLOOKUP can't do this because VLOOKUP needs to be in the leftmost position and look rightward. So let's do the index match first. Equals index. We want to get the age, comma, match, look up the employee ID, comma, look up array. Here's the lookup array, comma, exact match, close the formula. Okay, we've got the ages. If we want to use VLOOKUP, we got to do something to this data set. Here's what I'm going to do here. Age 2, let's call it that. And just say equals this. Go. All right. Equals VLOOKUP look up the ID, comma, what range, okay, comma, one, two, three, four, four, comma, false, close parentheses, boom. We got VLOOKUP to work. We had to add an extra column, sure, and sometimes we're not in a position to be able to do that. Then Go ahead and use the index match. But see, 
these are the kinds of things that we need to look at before we start doing anything with our data. So this is not a tool conversation. This is a situation conversation. Most of the time when I'm doing VLOOKUP, I'm not dealing with these kinds of situations. This is the kind of situation that I'm dealing with. Somebody says, Oz, I've got these names and I want to know what floor they're on. Can you email that to me in an email? All right, fine. I'm using VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. I've got the floors. The next thing I'm going to do, copy, paste these values. Boom. There is no live formula underneath here. I can copy this and paste it into an email. I can get rid of everything and email the person this table. There are none of the concerns that these insurgents have when they start beating on VLOOKUP. Let's look at it this way. I've got a blender, a food processor, a knife and a cutting board, and a stick blender. Which one is better? Better for what? All right. I've got to mince a whole bunch of garlic. Let's not use the blender or the stick blender. Let's say the food processor or the knife and the cutting board are better. And then let's agree that the food processor is the better of all the tools. And then the context. Let's say that I don't have enough room on my counter to bring out the food processor. The cutting board and the knife are already out. Also, I don't have another free outlet because I've got all kind of other things going. In that situation, the knife and the cutting board can be good enough. That's what we're talking about here. Inside a context, what can get me through? So you think about your context. VLOOKUP is a tool. A food processor is a tool. Index match is a tool. So, if you ever get one of these index match insurgents talking to you about how VLOOKUP is bad, you look at them and you tell them Take your pompous self and go back up into the hills where you belong until you can come down and respect me and my context. All right? Now I'll see you in the next video.